the big top G Andrew Tate is uh, responding to Logan Paul and impulsive clip. I guess exposing him. So let's see what it's about, boys and girls, shall we? Now you're in a situation where, and we're going to dive into Andrew Tate. I don't feel like platforming this guy. I don't feel like giving him the blessing of being my dance partner in the ring, especially after the social media platforms have made it very clear how they feel about this guy, right? And and, and I would even because I would he's even, speaking the truth. I would even um, put a little call out here to like fellow creators and even JJ. Like, you want to replatform this guy? Anyone? You want to have him on your shows? You want to you want to give him another opportunity to speak and and and, and spread his agenda because um, whether you believe it or not the shit that andrew tate is saying will have a ripple effect much more dangerous than you can imagine dangerous because what? his narrative is truly hateful his rhetoric has extreme hateful how how is anything this man says hateful like you cannot agree with what he's saying but you know he's not just saying bs like the stuff actually happens like it's facts factual information Negative if you energy don't like it, 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 then that's you. And the only reason people saying it's dangerous is because they don't agree with it, you know? But a good amount of people, if not the majority, agree. Will affect impressionable so young weird. people in a way that will not show until years from now, and it is dangerous. Hey. The hardest good coat. boys. The biggest I have ever seen in my life. I have no problem with people disagreeing with me and having a different opinion. That's See, normal. That's, that's part of adulthood. However, when people pretend that they don't agree with you purely because they are afraid, because they are cowards, that's very sad to see. Mm. Who, who was the guy who begged the girls to buck? Oh, uh, True Jordy. Name? True Jordy, yeah. Mm. So in, in True Jordy's studio, Logan, who's his friend, funnily enough, decides to sit down and purport absolute bullshit fallacy in an attempt to justify us being banned from social media. Mm -hmm. and, and the reason he was doing that is a few reasons. The primary reason is he's extremely jealous of our monumental success. The second reason is he's jealous of our brotherhood. Because, bro, Logan is best friends with KSI, who's beefing Jake Paul. Does that even make sense? Nah, no, that is as a, as a, as a that brother, is so As your facts. brother. Does that even make sense? No, that Bro, I've had facts. people look at you wrong and I've punched him in the face. You know what I'm saying? Like this, they're just, He's just a weird dude. Like, he's just That's... clout chasing. He'll just clout chase anyone. So he sat around with Mike. Mike used to say my name all the time. He was a super fan. Now he's saying how much he loves The Matrix. I didn't know any of this about him. People keep sending me videos of him begging on some porn star who doesn't like him anymore and saying he's a <laughs> So, I don't want to insult the guy from your throat. That sounds like a terrible existence. <laughs> Logan's an extremely emotional man, and you can see on his oh, face he's very, very no. angry and very, very upset at our success. And sits there and tries to say, no, he should be banned, he should be banned. And I was watching it going, the worst thing about this is not what he's saying. It's that he doesn't really believe it. Logan is a man who says things that he because he thinks he's supposed to say them. Or he's Which being makes told. him an agent of the Matrix, makes him a coward. And let me make something very, very clear. When I say the Matrix, I mean the Matrix because they have managed to alter reality in real time by controlling narratives, by preventing the other side of opinions to speak. It's just I one say side. He's a bad man, Susan. Can I keep my account? <laughs> you are a clown. All you care about is keeping your little YouTube channel because you are a performing clown. Is that mercy? He's at the mercy of his masters, and he knows it, and he will say anything he is told to say. Well, he is a coward. There's a, Only people who a attack lot of us people are the like Matrix and his agents, like Logan. So he doesn't even have actual fans. He has a bunch of viewers. And when you have viewers, you have to be very, very afraid of cancellation, because if they cancel him, because he's surface-level entertainment, he says nothing profound. He, he stated in his videos, I'm a master orator. <laughs> he's correct. He's not intelligent. Model. He can't articulate himself correctly. He doesn't say anything which is of interest. He has no genuine insights so all he is is a clown he's a performer he makes people laugh right ha ha guys look ha 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 logan needs youtube to matter and that's why when susan called him and said listen we've say attempted this, to attack that. the top uh, g uh, 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 we're uh, trying to control the narrative we hope that you have some kind of scope hmm. well that's pretty facts i mean it's kind of just one-sided you know other people aren't allowed to have their opinion 
even though they listen to yours. You know, well, anyway, that's the response that Andrew Tate had to Logan Paul. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. And if you like the video, it helps me out as well, too. I post videos almost every other day. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.